The Walter P. Chrysler Museum opened its doors to the public in 1998, but closed in December of 2012 due to lack of attendance. The museum continued to be available for meetings, conferences, and even weddings over the years, but recently it was announced the museum would once again be open to the public. So what changes took place to allow you to reopen your doors to the public? Well, uh, we had a change in staff here. Um, we reconnected with all the volunteers that had been so supportive of us in the past. Um, they all came back together. It's really the volunteers, um, all the local people that are, you know, we have like 50 or 60 of them. Um, their support is really, really important to us being open. The 55,000 square foot facility features three floors and houses over 70 cars and interactive displays and historical exhibits. Well, when people come to visit, they're going to see 71 different vehicles. Uh, we really focus on the engineering heritage of the company, the people that made the, the corporation successful, um, and of course, you know, really focused on the vehicles. Um, when you come, you're going to see uh, on the first two floors really the chronological history of the company from 1902, from our very earliest roots, uh, right up to the concept cars that are built in the 2000s. Uh, when you go down to the garage level, you're going to see trucks, jeeps, race cars, a little bit of everything. Um, some vehicles most people have never seen before probably. We've got a, a, a 1954 uh, concept car down there called the Lockham Tess. And it's a pink car with a floral interior and a, and a plastic roof. And it, it really stands out. So you're going to see a little bit of everything. Uh, we hope people get some education out of it. Uh, the, their sign is with the vehicles. Uh, there's interactive displays. So there's a little bit of everything here. The museum officially opens to the public on Saturday, June 4th and Sunday, June 5th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. After that, the museum will be open on a limited basis. There will be extended hours during Dream Cruise weekend. For more information, visit wpchryslermuseum.org. They also have a presence on Facebook. In Auburn Hills, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.